Welcome to Educator. I'm Yvonne Galanen. I am so glad to have you here. If you've been searching for a place where you can learn, where you can learn the science of skincare, the science of aesthetics, without being sold to, without being talked down to, this is your place. We're here to support you in your learning. We're all about education. You won't find any discount codes, any celebrity, what did she do to her face type analysis. You won't find doctors talking out their butts. Yes, I said it. If you look on YouTube, there are a lot of doctors just making stuff up, just riffing because they're doctors and no one checks. That's not what we're here to do. We're here to help you learn. We make peer-reviewed science accessible, transparent and accessible. How do we do that? Two ways. First, we translate the jargon. We translate the jargon into simple language that everyone can understand. And that way you can build up your scientific vocabulary. You can build up your fluency in the language of science. Jargon is eliminated as an obstacle. The second thing we do is maybe even more important. When we present research, we don't just tell you the conclusion. We don't just say, okay, here's a paper, it says X. We take you through the author's reasoning. We show you their research plan, what data they generate and what conclusions they reach because it's important for you to develop that scientific thinking muscle, that muscle of creating a hypothesis, generating data, and then seeing what the data shows. So why am I doing this? I'm doing this because I know you can do it. 21 years ago, I knew no science, none. I was working for a large pharmaceutical company. I was a business development guy. I put together deals. I've been doing it for a number of years and I was bored. And the one thing that interested me about my job was the snippets of science that I heard. Now, I didn't have the language to understand those snippets, but they were fascinating. And so one summer I went out and I bought the textbook, The Cell. You know, it's like this thick. It's used to teach undergraduates and med school students biology. And I started on page one. And the first hundred pages were incredibly difficult, incredibly humbling, but I made it through. I started to get some language. I started to be able to understand simple things like what's the difference between a small molecule and a large molecule? What are receptors? How do they work? What's a channel? What's a membrane? All these things I pieced together. And two years later, that same pharmaceutical company offered me a PhD level job in research and development. I joined a group of eight PhDs and in a company of over 100,000 people, these eight PhDs were responsible for vetting external research, external ideas, innovative ideas. Now, this was incredibly difficult for me, as you can imagine at the beginning, I didn't know which way was up, but I had an amazing mentor, Chang Han, a brilliant, brilliant scientist. And he taught me how to think like a scientist, how to speak like a scientist. And he used to laugh at me all the time. He laughed at me because he knew I could do it. He knew I could do it. And I know that you can do it. You can learn the science just like I learned the science. Now, those eight years of evaluating innovative ideas in inflammation, that was my area. That was an incredible teaching experience. I learned after eight years that there's so much that we don't know. In any analysis, the things that you do know are dwarfed by the things that you don't know. And that was an incredible, valuable lesson. And two years after that, 
I had the good fortune to start my first company, Plexera Therapeutics. And our mission was to treat a rare genetic disease, Barber disease, that had never been treated before. What an adventure. We made an incredibly complicated enzyme replacement therapy. And then it culminated with meetings with the FDA and the EMA to decide on a plan to get this innovative enzyme replacement therapy approved. Wow. Very few scientists, especially ones with as unconventional a training as I had, ever get to meet with regulatory authorities in that intimate setting. I learned so much. And then about six years ago, I started working on a skincare idea, a composition to treat the dermal fat cells. Yes, I learned after all this time that the skin had its own unique fat cells. And I stumbled upon a composition by accident that treated these cells the way they needed to be treated for the first time. No one had ever tried the idea of reducing the size of these cells while stimulating regeneration. And for that, I applied as a sole inventor for a very broad patent application. And that was an adventure too, dealing with the patent authorities, explaining what was different about your invention and how it was unanticipated by everything that had been done before. Three years ago, my research in dermal fat cells led to a publication in Europe's leading plastic surgery journal, and I was the lead author. Can you imagine a lead author for the first time in my 50s? Very few people get that opportunity, and I couldn't be more proud of the work that my fellow authors and I did to put this paper together. And now the adventure continues. I'm working with the most preeminent research group at the Karolinska Institute. And we show that this invention that we anticipated three years ago works exactly the way we said, by increasing regeneration and decreasing cell size. The initial data couldn't be more clear cut and exciting. So this is the mix of experience I come to you with doing in vitro studies with preeminent labs, meetings with the FDA and the EMA, preparing clinical studies, writing manuscripts for peer reviewed journals. This eclectic combination of experience makes me ready for this challenge, which is to foster your education. I couldn't be more excited. I couldn't be more excited for the things that we're going to do together. Thank you. Thank you for being here. This is just the beginning. Stay tuned.